Hey right guys, Trophy Reacts here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 3 of Grey's Anatomy Season 5. Uh, I have been spoiled on the thumbnail for this episode. Huge, huge spoiler. Uh, I recognise the face instantly. I know that Richard from Gilmore Girls is in this. So big, big spoiler. That's not going to be a surprise when I see his face. But yeah, the literal thumbnail for this episode is just Alex stood next to Richard from... Gilmore Girls. So that's kind of cool. We get to see him. Obviously the actor has passed away now, so that's kind of sad. But yeah, we're cool to see him in something other than Gilmore Girls. Episode 3, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel. And Patreon's linked down below if you do want to join us over on there. will be uh, towards the end of Season 4 by the time this one's on YouTube, because as I said, this is quite sh or the shortest season actually. So yeah, if you want to join, that'll be down below. But for now, let's do this. And most of the time, we give them our undivided attention. I heard he said I could see Alex and Lexi. I could see it. I could see it. So calm. I'm always terrified, but he's like steady. Best intern ever. Hey, you know what they're talking about? George O'Malley. <laughs> Seriously, don't bring that up. Do you know O'Malley's got these morons snowed? They don't even know he's a repeater. Yeah, whatever. Let him have his moment. Actually, don't. George doesn't deserve a moment. How are you today? Neither do you, Derek. Fall down the elevator. Good. Great. The truth is hard the truth is awkward and very often oh god oh, damn it hi you waiting for denny is he What's... she's doing between me and lying about it that's great she thinks i'm weak oh my god are we still doing the mcdonald's thing work or christina all alone yeah I'm right or christina is he really mcdreamy anymore what happened i don't know maybe when you knew nothing about him and he didn't talk i'd understand but now, unfortunately, Derek has spoken and therefore not dreamy anymore. He's a good-looking guy, though, so maybe he is more dreamy, but I don't know, it's a hard one. I'm going to stick with Muck Fumbles, and we'll move on. She knew about you and me. You'd have to talk about it. You'd have to talk about you and me. And be a long conversation. There'd be no time left for me to talk about her. The short conversation. He's a knob. We're having sex, I guess. There you go. Laura, you're on Scott. I was on Scott yesterday. Oh, and just for that, you're on Scott tomorrow. Get lost. Dr. Karev? This is Dr. There he is, Richard, my boy. Yeah, I know he's in it. But not the biggest spoiler in the thumbnail, at least. <laughs> I don't have a specialty yet. Norman is an intern. You'll be his resident. Oh, is he actually going to be like a character? Intern? Don't worry, son. This tugboat's ready to pull his own weight. Where's Emily? It's just a number, right, Norman? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You want to talk about it? No. Not really. Not yet. Okay. Well, if there's anything no, I can do... I just do. wish I had a good bloody surgery. You know, bloody surgeries make me feel better. You get weird with this, Christina. I feel like they had this trait for Christina and then they've just ran with it. It's like... <sighs> we get it. She likes the things you probably shouldn't enjoy, but... Joanne, this is why you and I need to get sick. <laughs> These doctors. One's more handsome than the next. <laughs> oh, and here comes oh, the right, handsomest yeah. one of them all. Hi, Dr. Weber. Uh, fast, fast, fast. Marriage is hard, uh, but we're dating again, uh, and she agreed to date me tonight. <clears throat> but um, more, more importantly, uh, how are you doing? Oh, I just had a little bump on my tongue removed is all. A couple of taste buds. Turns out it was a little touch of cancer. Just a little tiny touch of cancer, yeah. Uh, how is she, Dr. Snow? Uh, we just got back to pathology of poor Connie. Unfortunately, the we'll have to cancer the is a bit tongue. more widespread than we'd hoped. It's over 60% of your tongue. The well, whole tongue's what? coming off. Well, what does she do? Chemo? I think the uh, best bet is a microvascular free flap, Dr. Gray. Uh, he'll remove the cancerous part of the tongue and then reconstruct it with a strip of flesh from your legs. George? Cool. Having your leg in your mouth. I will provide the bulk your tongue needs to breathe properly, chew, swallow. Taste buds gone, though. Oh. And that little thing as well. You will be able to talk, Connie. I just don't know how well you'll be understood. <laughs> you could have just said no. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to talk, but not really, though. Like, it will be just nonsense. You'll be able to talk, yes. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I just don't know anyone will be able to understand you. You want to leave Norman with me while you troll for surgeries? <laughs> Dude's got a bum hip and he smells like arthritis cream. <laughs> Keep up. 
Come on. Hunter, uh, I'm Dr. Karab. This is Dr. Shales. What's, uh, what's going on? My son is on drugs. I'm not on drugs, Mom. I'm just on meth. But first, a drug test, Dr. Shales. I'm right to want a drug test. Yeah, I, I just said that. Mrs. Chapman, you are not wrong. My Mary Beth, God rest her soul, is just like you. Go on, Norman. One of our kids started heading... I can't. It's Richard. I can't call him Norman. Knew it. You have a mother's instinct. Right, Dr. Karib? Yeah, right. I think this is actually just Richard's character be just... Spoilers for... I mean, you know what's happening in Gilmore right now in Season 5. So Richard is just, you know, doing a little thing. He's just off doing his own little thing for a little bit. I thought you were going to tell her last night. I tried, but she would not let me. She... she wouldn't let me. I wanted to kill her, but then I couldn't kill her because she did help me through you a lot of stuff. Kill and her. It was a lot of stuff, and you know she did help me through it. But then I wanted to kill her what? again because who marries someone who just buried their father? And then I went to bed. George, you are a man. You are a, a human being who can make his own choices. My God, oh, what a waste of space! How they ruin George so much? Basically means that he hasn't woken up for a year. So what's the treatment plan? Um. Um, um, it's really very simple. Daily labs and dialysis three times a week. I could have told you that. Don't bother with any more dialysis. Oh my God, just I plan to die today, <laughs> so it won't be necessary. Well, there you go. That's why they showed him in the fl previously then. My name is Charlie. Charlie Yost. Charlie Yokes. Ah, Charlie, you goofy guy. Goofy Charlie's eye again. This time tomorrow, you can call me really dead guy. Guys, I don't think Mr. Yost knows who you are. Sure I do. That's Meredith. She and the brain doctor are always running hot and cold. Well, and good, you're uh, Alex. You still got a thing for that old patient of yours? Oh. I was semi-comatose, Blondie. I could still hear you guys. No, you're not foolish. Your kidneys may be working again, which may be why you woke up. It's good news. Oh, it just means now I got two things to do today. Take a pee and die. <laughs> Fair enough. That woman loves to talk more than anyone I know. What's that functional muscle mm. transfer? You won't find it in the books, O'Malley. It's cutting edge. You connect the nerves from the leg with the nerves from the tongue. Wild. Why is it better to do a surgery that neither of you have done than to do a surgery that you know at least gives her a chance to have a normal life? Do you know how to do this procedure? Are you saying that we're too old to learn new ways, O'Malley? Mark ain't old, <laughs> so we'll calm down with that. Richard's not even that old. I just asked. We're not old dogs. We still got it. Okay. I did do a functional muscle transfer to restore elbow function once. Elbow, tongue, that's pretty close. I'm what do you say? <laughs> Let's light this candle. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cool, cool. Go for Wait, it, why not? Number uh, yes. Are we really trying to make out Mark's old? I'm very confused. Ah, yes, it's possibly late 30s male. So old. I know how you like to be told these things, so I'm telling you. Thank you. No, he tried to dump a new intern on me. Boo! I saw Boo George when he walks by. You ever feel old? I'm young. I'm a fetus. No, I mean, you ever feel like there's going to be a time when new techniques You're both pass the same age, by? Right? I'm a genius and a scholar. Shut up. Mm hmm Me, me. Meredith isn't telling Christina about us. Well, she tells Christina everything. I thought you broke that off. I meant to. I'm bored of this Derek Meredith thing already. She's going to want to get back together. Oh you think she's gonna grow up and get Oh my old god, are we doing this? Want a relationship. Derek! I do not. You called this up. Oh. Lord help me with these two characters. I cannot be asked. Didn't Derek not want to be with her because he wanted his career? I guess that like, went to Richard, so. Christina, are we ever gonna talk about this, the Burke thing? I'm not Izzy. I'm not gonna lie on the bathroom floor all day. Oh, damn. I mean, she lo he died. It's a bit different. Andy. Hey, Blondie! Some vocal cords on this guy. Charlie, I have a million charts to update. I'm busy. Well, you can owe him, seeing as you just sat on him and talked about him for the past year. Dying man gets to choose what he wants to eat. I want lobster. I'm not getting you lobster, because you're not dying. I won't allow it. A man can only hang on for so long, Blondie. How about a lobster just for waking up after a year, maybe? I don't know. You know, 
about what's his face? I know you're crazy if you think he's leaving his wife. Guys always oh, we say that. Leave his well, wife. not that it's any of your. Oh my god, why would Callie and George stay together? Oh my god. Oh. Hey, I'm filling in for Christina, so how's it going? I pulled a splinter out of a guy's toe, and now. I Is every main five, the Keating five or whatever they're called, annoying me this season? In some way. Apart from maybe Alex. I was like a bit worried about Alex, but we'll see. But Meredith's being mean to Lexi. Christina's doing the same shit she's done since season one, where she's like, I want to see organs and blood and people dying. George is a penis. Is is a penis. So Alex is all right. Um, visualize the cords. Pull straight up. Watch the tube. I still love Meredith. I, I, I can't see the cords. You should do this. Okay, you can do it. Just don't rock up against the teeth. Just pull straight up. Pull socks down to 86. Go on, Lexi. Lexatron. Did he die? That wasn't bad. What? That wasn't bad for your first intubation. Oh, I've just paused the show for some reason. Why did it do that? Okay, well, while that's how I'll pause this. Do we count him? Yeah, he had a face. We'll call him the Lexi patient. The guy's dead. He died. He was dead when he came in here. No, you should have done everything that you could. That was everything I could. Well, what kind of doctor are you? What is this about? Ooh, get personal. If you don't want to learn from me, that's fine. But I have to cover the pit today. So why don't you do both of us a favor and go help Bailey in the clinic? Fine. Fine. Where, where? God, Meredith. Cut us some slack a little bit. Pretend I'm not here. Pretend I'm not busting in on you in the picture. I don't bloody lids really just flying off too. But really, old guy is giving me a hard time. I liked him so much better when he was sleeping, which he's not. Oh, is he shut up for two minutes? Oh! Stubborn and really old, and he's telling me I'm an idiot for thinking you're gonna leave Callie. Seriously? Oh. We're in so what do you think about that? You're gonna tell her tonight, right? Oh my gosh, she's an George? actual psychopath. I, I, I have to get this research done. You're not going. You're not gonna tell her. Oh my god! Wasn't it just yesterday when you said that you. Oh my god! We should have told her five episodes ago. I'm so bored of this. Fuck. It's not on drugs. You sure? There's no drugs in his system. Who came back clean? Your son is fine. This is not my son, Doctor Shales. It's not. Maybe we should order some more. Time. Maybe it's just being a teenager. There we go. They talk back to their parents. And they never come out of their rooms. You have apple hair. I oh no, he's being river. mean. A, a pancake. Hunter. He's got. Do you know what you just Glocky said? Glocky McClobia. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure. Did you mean to say it? No, I. I was trying to say that I wanted to go home. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to do a full neuro exam. What are our head CT and labs now? Oh. <clears throat> Emily! Sloan's gonna do this fancy new surgery. Maybe you'll make it into the medical journals. <laughs> Maybe you'll be famous. <laughs> what if the surgery doesn't work? Uh oh. What if this is my last. I recognize her from something. She's a mom in something. So morbid. The surgery will work. You'll be fine. You should say it all now, Joe, just in case. You shouldn't have any more. Say it all now. Oh my god. You can tell us anything, Connie. We're your best friends. I hate you all. You should tell him. 22 Jump Street is just the I'm mom. I'm sorry, I don't want to cry, but you have to buy some new pants. And Elaine, your breath is god awful. <laughs> I mean, you need to see a doctor or something because wow. I know you have good hygiene, but sweet God, your breath is mad. And you've got to get a new hairdo. The 80s are over, honey. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? You want to die? Fine. Here, let me help you. You missed this one. <laughs> Damn, you're still with us. Dr. Stevens. What? Oh, you've actually killed him, Dr. Stevens. Stevens. He's not breathing. What? You are. You just... <laughs> oh, shit, I pulled the wrong wire. Did you just kill him? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Dr. Stevens, you weren't meant to pull that. Clear. I've got a pulse. Charlie? Charlie? Oh. Stop saving my life! 
Oh, just let him go, Jesus. If it hurt their feelings, I mean, real bad hurt their feelings. You think they'll forgive me? You told me. You told me to tell them. You told me to say everything. You said it would be okay. Oh my god, you told someone to brush their teeth, basically. It's not that deep. I, I can't work with her, with Meredith Grey. I, I, I can't work with her because I can't look at her. If she hates me, she hates my dad, she obviously hated my mother, and I Understandably am... doesn't like you, Dad. Please, just let me work down here today. Please, Dr. Bailey. Kid in curtain three needs stitches. Go. There we go. Schedule an OR, and then we'll go talk to Andre and his mom. Will do, Captain. Guy doesn't know when to shut up. He does it with the patients, really? too. Really? This is not bad. I know, I know, but it'd be like yelling at my grandfather. Hmm. I'm off to do Meredith's hemiglycectomy. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm off to go kill a nine-year-old. I'm gonna go pull him out of his misery. Making sadness, pretending to be sad to steal my surgery. Yes, thanks, Christina. Okay, I have a really old guy trying to kill himself and problems of my own. So I don't have time for the two of you and your fake drama. Oh my god, Izzy, you have no ground to... Was that meant to be like an Izzy boss moment? Because, um... Person wants to die, you let them. It's polite. Not in the hospital, it's not in the hospital. I guess. It's a lawsuit. I'm dying right now. Oh god. You're just gonna shit yourself. Damn it. Could you just get up and jump out the window? You're not dying, Charlie, not on my watch. Dead man walking. We don't see much walking, Charlie. Banter. <laughs> I mean, I just thought that might interest you, seeing as how one of Yang's interns is actually one of Gray's relatives. And the two Gray's are having some kind of family feud. I don't think Kelly gives a shit. You plan to hide out in here all day long? Or you plan to emerge at some point and do your job? Why would I come out there to do my job when you clearly do it so much better? Ooh. I'm doing paperwork, Miranda, because I don't have any more fight in me. I, I don't want to fight you. Really? You've given up already? I mean, to be fair with the George stuff added on, onto it. I think she'd be on it if it wasn't for George. But being a prick. He married someone. His dad just died. Wee! You proposed? Did Kelly propose? No. Okay. That's a perfect fit. It's got good vascularization. At this rate, you may actually get to go on a date with Adele. Yeah, I better. Can't very well have her take me back if I cancel our first date. Where are you taking her, Chief? Uh, that was a nice little Chinese restaurant we like to go to. Dr. Sloan, I, I know. know. Is everything well, okay? Is it um, face hooker in there? <coughs> Let me get a good old look. Sure. What does that mean? It means we've never done this before. I think just sew the leg on the tongue and then connect the phlebloclea to the nolochlea would be my take. Tongue. That was looking good for a while, but I'll... <sighs> I'll be right there. Yeah. Go on, go on, George. Is he... Chat some crap. What does it say, George? Real. Blondie. I'm the other woman. I know that. <laughs> Can't <15's> contain. <laughs> We're not in this together. Wow. You told her you loved her last episode. No, you don't get to be mad here. Seriously? We said- No, 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 there is no we. It's just me. I'm the one who has to tell Callie. I'm the one who has to destroy her. She's already destroyed. She knows. It's not something you just blurt out. It's not. I'll do it. I will do it. You have to back off and let me do it. I'm glad he said that because she is whining so much about this stuff. But at the same time, Kali knows you've waited too long. It's pointless. It's a grey on me. I had her do an intubation on a dead guy. It's something you used to have us do all the time. I was trying to teach her. Whatever she told you, she told me you hate her. I don't. And that you hated her mother. I didn't say Her that. mother, who came to you with a case of hiccups and died in our hospital. Do you see where I'm going with this? She's not my intern. I'll go over yourself, Meredith, for a little bit. Look, whether you like it or not, your job is to help that girl be a better doctor. So help Susan was great to you. Died way too soon. Lexi has been great so far. Pipe down. Your dad is a prick, yes, but that's not Lexi's fault. Oh, 
What do I do? Uh, uh, hyperventilation. Manitoba. I don't know everything. Oh. Go. Get Shepard. Go. Oh, uh, Derek's gonna be split between two. Hi, hey, Shepard. A little busy right now making medical history. Hunter throw. Chapman's brain is herniated. His right pupil just blew. Okay, you need to do exactly what I say. Here we go. In the next ten minutes, can you do that? Yes, sir. Okay, get the biggest needle you can find. The biggest needle. He's gonna shove it into his eye. Get her out of here, Norman. Get her out. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold his head. Shepard told me what to do. In the eye. No, please. No, 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 no. Oh, that's some Dead Space 2 shit. I cannot believe I've just seen that. Oh my god. Charlie, you can't go. I know that you think your life is over. I know you feel like you don't have anybody, but... Is he dead? Your life's not over. <laughs> He's and dead, isn't he? Then you have me. Because I think you may have been right before. I don't think George is going to leave his wife and... Dead. I need you to tell me what to do. I I need some. You can't go, Charlie. Is he? He's dead. Go and look at his face. Charlie. Chelonius. I mean, he's clearly moving. <laughs> so I try to stay still, but he's doing this. <laughs> moving. <laughs> he's faking it. Sorry I unloaded on you, Norman. You know how it is, heat of the moment. Uh, don't apologize to him. What? Oh, Dr. Bailey's right. Shut up, Norman. I'm not talking to you. He got in your way. He's been doing it all day. And when that happens, when an intern gets in the way of a resident, you're not doing what's best for your patient. First, first, first. Missed diagnosing that kid today because Norman here thought it was drugs. So don't apologize. He should be yelled at. Dr. Bailey. As old as the house. I don't care how old he is, Dr. Kreff. He's still an intern. And interns are basically teenagers. There is a reason why we have a pecking order in a hospital. It saves lives. Oh, right. I think that woman's going to be able to talk for the rest of her life thanks to us. I think I still got it. I oh, they do. do it. Too. Cool. You guys are kidding yourselves. You know how close you idiots came to that woman losing her tongue? To her never speaking again? Oh, yeah. You a couple of cowboys in there. Tell me yourself you can do this. Acting like the big boys. You are the same age as Mark, Derek. I'm so confused. Ah, you old geezer. Who's the same age as me? You can't imagine your life without her. Tell her for the last month you've been walking around this hospital at night just thinking about her. Tell her the truth. I'm sorry I called you an idiot. Ah, yeah, you smashed that one, Derek. Doofus Derek at it again. So I thought we could go back to my house and get into our pajamas. Just sit and talk about this whole Burke thing and really get to the root of your feelings. Mm, Just sure. talk all night Therapy with Christina. Talk. She needs it. Talk. They all bloody do. And cry. Cry. Yeah, George needs it, Izzy needs it, Alex needs it, Meredith and Christina. Yeah, they all need it. No surgery stealer. So? Person who's sleeping with Derek? How'd you know that? What, you think I'm too fragile to handle your sex life? I've come to pray for old guy. What are we supposed to say? We didn't even know the guy. We ate lunch in here for a year. The least we can do is say a few kind words about him. I guess. You literally didn't know him. Never complained. He always took his meds. Hardly ever farted. Uh, Alex. I guess, yeah. Fine. Uh, he had t 12 surgeries this year and he, he lived through them. That's that's impressive. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I got to practice stuff on him, central lines and everything. It was I got to chop him up and eat his bones. Yes, Christine, are excellent. Charlie, the truth is, you were a bastard. You were. You were mean and stuff. Whoa! Just a bastard. And you stuck to your guns and proved that if you want something badly enough, if you're determined enough and patient enough. Eventually, it will happen. I wonder who we're talking about. It will. About. Oh my god. It... Mm, that gives me hope, so. Is, is he 12? Are you 12 years old? Bye bye, Charlie. If you want something hard enough, you'll definitely get it looking at George constantly. Your friends, so. I'm so sorry I haven't seen them. Oh, they'll be it. If they don't, if they're not our friends because she told them to brush their teeth, How'd she do? then grow up. There we go. Great. I have a few things we'd like to say. 
<clears throat> your first husband, he put his hand on my ass every chance he got. And your second cool. husband, he spat when he talked, and plus he was ugly. We know that you thought he was handsome, but the man was a troll. A troll? Home over guy. Oh my god. He Deep down, nobody home. wants to hear it. Ow. Especially when it hits close to home. What? I have your mother's death note here. Death note? I've got Everything that happened it. on the day she died well, is in here. Like Tennessee, please. And I know because I wrote it. So I'd like to go over it with you if that's okay. Who shall we write in the death note? Is he? Stevens, George O'Malley. Of each of those things happening, 1%. And your mother was the 1%. There we go, Meredith. At least we're talking to her and giving us some information. For what it's worth, I was very fond of your mother. She was... I was very fond of her. Yeah, she did start coming in a little bit too much, but I think she died a bit too soon. I felt like because we lost Alice and then Susan so quickly by each other like it just didn't really have an effect oh it's weird the best damn number two this hospital has ever seen but you're number two i will no she's number one i will i will help you look girl you just seem to be having a hard time <laughs> and uh i know i'm having a hard time but together we could they could have a good friendship actually do this yeah, i think I just think we can do this together. You got to reattach a woman's tongue. Oh, I was there. I didn't actually do the reattaching. Yeah, but still. You're the intern they wanted on that case. Oh, Alex is going to throw him under the bus. He's a repeater. What? You're a big hero here. He was an intern last year. <coughs> That's why he uh, knows some of this stuff. He's already been through it. But if you oh. want to learn from someone, really, really learn, go to a resident. Not this dude. Wow, Alex, bit harsh. But uh, George kind of deserves to be brought down a peg or two, to be fair. Yeah, he's right, if you want to emulate someone, it's definitely not me. No, I'm not that guy. Yeah. And sometimes... Bit harsh, but... We just can't help ourselves. What the hell are you looking at? <laughs> Interns. Season one, Alex, there. Because is this the scene? Please, at least that. Much. God, just do it. Just say it. Please, please, just say it, George. Just say the words. She's giving you the open door. I slept with Izzy, and you get a divorce. Thank God. You know, I'll say that every time and then it's like the next episode, they're still together. So maybe it'll be like cut to Callie being like, I forgive you, George. I forgive you. We can move on from this. And then he'll be like, I agree. And then they just pretend nothing happened. Or they finally just get over this marriage. The marriage that should have never happened. Um, that's gone on so long. These It's still going, so it's not like we're done with it. But the Izzy and George stuff is a mess. It is annoying. Meredith was pretty annoying this episode. Derek was annoying. Uh, this, I, mean, I want to get back with Meredith again. It's like, come on. Uh, Christina's just whatever. And it's like, she's like doing a Christina thing. But I need to chop up some people and eat their... It's just like, okay, we get it. You, please have a different personality. It's hard. I do like Christina, but sometimes it's like... Uh, so Alex... I think Alex was probably the most interesting out of the, the main five, at least. Lexi was pretty good. Um, Callie and Bailey were both good. And then Richard and Mark were kind of fun. So a bit of a mixed bag with this one where some characters were really annoying me and then some characters were decent. So I'm not sure how I feel about this episode. I think it was fine. I think it's definitely the weakest of season four so far. Um, probably the weakest episode since those... And this wasn't as bad as these two episodes, but probably the weakest since those two spin-off episodes we had. Just because... I feel like some stories are dragging up. We, I've said this so many times, and it's con going to continue to be a thing, but the Derek and Meredith thing, they just keep going in circles with it. They do not know what to do with these two characters at all with their romance. Uh, and then George and Izzy is just like, are we still doing this? <laughs> He's, when did he sleep with Izzy? 
he slept with Izzy in I think I just I think I just uploaded the episode when it happened. Um it either way, it was a while ago. Here we go. Episode eighteen of the last season. So ten episodes ago, I wanna say. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ten episodes ago. That's hilarious. So, yeah, that I'm glad she just was like, just tell me and get out of the way. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go a 6.5 out of 10 with this episode. Some things in there that I liked, some that was just a little bit frustrating and annoying to deal with. I didn't care for any of the cases, really. That needle scene was wild with Alex. That was actually wild. But uh, even that kid's case, I didn't really care about. Um, the woman who wanted to talk. I felt like that was interesting because they were doing something that they hadn't done before with the tongue, so that was okay. And then the old guy, that is, he suddenly had a, an attachment to it in some way. It's like, eh, I don't care about that. So, uh, yeah, it was a fine episode. Like I say, 6.5 out of 10 for this one. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what the episode down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for episode 4. Until then, take care. Peace.